well friends uh, you see the other guidelines that you have to take into account while uh, writing a thesis paper or uh, a dissertation uh, so you see the page numbering it should be in you know arabic numerals uh, 1 2 3 you know 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 you see Uh, Arabic numerals starting from the first page of the introduction. Usually, we see the scholars committing an error uh, by numbering even the uh, content, um, the acknowledgement, uh, the acknowledgement uh, page. Okay, so uh, they start the Arabic numerals one to like this. So that shouldn't happen. As I will be discussing about the content part in my next next. video okay so as of now just i uh, have a glance okay so header and footer okay footers uh, you see it in, you can include page numbers chapters titles and author's name if required okay so uh, very specifically when we talk about uh, the headers and the footer sections they are uh, you know the sections of a document that contains information that is repeated you see on each page okay typically at the top that is the header and bottom that is the footer of the page they are used you see to provide context and help readers navigate the document commonly uh, commonly uh, the research scholars they use uh, headers and footers uh, which includes in case of headers uh, they include the page title or chapter title the author's name or document title the date or version number uh, running head okay uh, so you can say a shortened version of the title whereas in case of footers the page numbers have been indicated uh, i prefer you, you say the middle uh, the bottom middle portion for the page numbers then you have you can give the date and time stamp uh, first name or uh, you say the document id the copyright or confidential no notices footnotes or references clear so you see the headers and footers uh, can be customized to include various elements such as the text images logo tables hyperlinks okay so in microsoft word you see uh double uh, you you you, uh, you can uh, you know like uh, the header and the footer can be uh, access uh, access by uh, double clicking you say double clicking the top or the bottom margin of the page or you can go to the uh, insert tab and selecting header or footer and the third way is by using the header or footer tools tab to customize the design and content clear so yeah you 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 can also you know like if you are using uh, the google docs uh, the header and footers can again be assessed by going to the insert menu and selecting header and page number and uh, also by using the headers and footer tab to customize the design and content headers and uh, footers are you see essential elements in document design as they provide important information and help readers quickly understand the context and structure of the document 
headers and footers are essential elements in dissertation or thesis or serve you know several purposes like you see in case of headers uh, you know running head a shortened version of the title usually on the top uh, right corner helping readers identify the document then again uh, the chapter title by displaying the current chapter title assisting reader in navigating the content also the author's name including the author's name specially in multiple authored documents so in this case uh, author names uh, you see mm, uh, it is done uh, while writing articles okay but not in case of uh, the dissertation clear dissertation or the thesis i think that is not very compulsory so uh, with regard to the footnotes okay uh, the footer part the page number is a compulsion providing page number making it easier to reference hmm, and site specific section date or the version including the date or version number ensuring reader how the documents uh, you, you see uh, documents are uh, you see the it will give us the picture of the document you can say the edition okay and the copyright or confidential notices adding necessary legal or confidentiality statement footnotes or reference again okay displaying the footnotes or reference supporting the content and the facilitating further researches okay so i am uh, uh, expressing or stating about the header and footer repeatedly so um, each points are uh, you know are discussed uh, very uh, minutely so in case if you have any uh, problem you can uh, catch up okay you can write to me um, that is dr bobby mahanta at the rate gmail dot com so the best practices with regard to the headers and footers is consistency okay so use headers and footers uh, consistently throughout the document and also clear formatting okay that is the second best practices you may say it ensures clear and readable formatting avoiding cluster all right and yeah it could be university guidelines adders to your university guidelines for headers and footers in dissertation and uh thesis uh and by using header and footer uh, very effectively you can enhance the overall presentations readability and professionalism of your thesis and dissertation okay so now talking about the table and figures it should be uh, centered okay with clear caption and labels then um reference yeah reference follow a consistent uh, you know format all right how you are going to cite the references if you are using the apa style mla or the chicago style all right so binding is very essential so you have to bind it in a way that uh, it doesn't tear off or it doesn't come out okay so you need to be, be very Uh, particular clear so uh, that's all for now mm, we will be catching up with more of uh, such uh, guidelines specifically meant for your synopsis and then your thesis see you